The LGBT in North Korea, the hardest place to live? We all know that LGBT rights are not equal all over the world. Unfortunately, there are quite a lot of countries where gays, lesbians, bisexual people, and transgenders are illegal, or they face harsh discrimination from society. When it comes to human rights, we should remember North Korea. This is one of the most closed off countries that we know very little about but we are pretty sure that the LGBT society in North Korea lives in a world of hell. De jure, being gay or lesbian, or even forming a one-sex family, is not illegal in North Korea. But in fact, local authorities don't welcome the LGBT. They believe that these people are ill and need treatment, so all of society opposes them. We couldn't find at least one open gay or lesbian in the country, because most importantly, Coming out as homosexual or transgender could get you thrown in prison or put in a hospital. Written laws don't go very far in a dictatorship. How can they send LGBT people to prison? There is no direct law that would forbid being a homosexual. But there is a sentence in criminal law that can bring a person to prison for standing against the socialist lifestyle. A judge can decide whether a person lives an anti-socialist life and needs to be sent to prison. Since 2009, they have been using this sentence to send dozens of LGBT people to prison. It may be hundreds or even thousands, but the statistics is closed and we have no way of obtaining the information. Also, there is sentence 194 of criminal code that forbids to create, distribute, or possess any decadent culture elements. Another heavily used article that places members of the LGBT behind North Korean bars. Censorship. One more trouble. If a person feels that he or she has a different sexuality, it's very hard to understand what to do with that. If you look at Western society, there are many school subjects, TV shows and talks, brochures and videos showing that being different is okay and showing how to cope with all the troubles that accompany your coming out. But still, statistics shows that even in the United States, people don't always come out telling their friends and relatives about their different sexuality. In California, there are 4.8% of people who declared that they belong to the LGBT community. But in South Dakota, for example, it's only about 2%. In North Korea, we only know of one person who came out officially and survived. He is Jang Young Jin, and we'll talk about him later. In North Korea, all TV programs, newspapers, and even radio talks are fully censored. It means they show and tell people only what's needed for propaganda. That's why being gay or lesbian is impossible to deal with, because you won't understand what's going on in your life, and your socialist parents could possibly completely disown you. Today's Chinese culture, with Chinese illegal smartphones and internet, starts spreading to North Korea, and this is the only way young people can get to know about the LGBT. There is total silence on this topic in the local media, and that's probably the worst thing. The story of one North Korean homosexual. Jang Yeon Jin is a North Korean citizen who now lives in the United States and is going to marry his boyfriend. This happy story definitely had its very dark times. Young Jin married a woman in North Korea when he was 27. Then, four years later, his brother asked him why he still didn't have kids. Young Jin answered that he had never been aroused by women and he rarely had sex with his wife. His brother recommended he see a doctor, and Jang spent a year trying different medical procedures. No one could just tell them that he was gay. Young Jin says that in North Korea, if a man says he doesn't like women, people will think he is unwell. A year after his divorce, Young Jin understood that he feels attraction towards his childhood friend. And at that moment, he decided to flee the country after he understood that he couldn't have the life he wanted to live. He had to crawl through the demilitarized zone to get to South Korea, risking his life. When Jang was 62, he met a Korean-American named Min Su on one of the dating sites. A couple months later, he was rushing to the United States to first meet his new boyfriend. And now, they are getting married. It took Young Jin 30 years to finally find his partner. Military Service North Korean military is a pretty tough gig to be a part of. During all 10 years of required service, you officially agree with celibacy. It means you aren't allowed to marry or have sexual relations with anyone. But let's face it, 
this communistic demand seems to be unreasonable for anyone. So, soldiers are known to break this rule and have sexual relations that are often homosexual. This is known as situational behavior, not orientation, and this is widely tracked by army leaders. So, what's the way out? If you're a homosexual in North Korea, escaping by any means should be the goal, even though it is extremely dangerous. With that being said, it is a very dangerous life to be a part of the LGBT in a strict dictatorship, and many see it as worth it to take the massive risk for freedom.